Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce you our OctoStream Amp Sub board. This is a DIY amplifier board to use with a subwoofer. First we can see what is inside. This is the board. This is the volume knob. Screwdriver. And the user manual. Now I'm going to introduce you everything about this board and how to use it. First, let us look at the connector. In the front, you can see two volume knobs. This one is a low pass knob, which lets you uh, control the low pass frequency. You can change from 30 Hz to 200 Hz. Beside it is a uh, maximum volume knob. You can use this to set up the maximum volume level. This is the reset button and the LED light. Beside this is the DC input. On the side is an aux in. This is used to connect an on analog input. Also at the end, there is another DC input if you want to have internal power to it. This is a pumper for the power. You can use it to DIY a power switch to control the power for this board. Lastly is the speaker out. This is used to connect a passive subwoofer. Now we have finished set up the device with power, set up the network and connect to our subwoofer. Now we are going to show you how this actually works. For this low frequency, turn to the left side is for the 200 hertz. Turn the right side and you can lower it to the 30 hertz. Go back here. This was the volume, maximum volume. Towards this side is the low volume, the high volume. So this side. This one is to set up the maximum volume. If you want to fine tune the volume, you can use our APP. Here, I have set up the A50 amplifier. It is now connected to our ceiling speaker. This is the amp sub board that is connected to our subwoofer. Now I'll show you how to make a wireless 2.1 system using our 4-stream APP. This is the amp amplifier A50. This is our subwoofer amplifier. Just drag it towards it to group it together. You can also connect this using the aux in, which is a line in. But we recommend you to use a wireless because if you use wireless, you don't need cables and you can position your subwoofer anywhere you want. Now it is ready. You can play back the music. Now I'll show you the music without the subwoofer. I'll turn the volume to the zero. You can see the big difference between having a subwoofer or without a subwoofer. Now I will show you the difference between the frequency. So you can hear there's also difference between the low pass frequency. You can set it to the volume that you like to fit best fit your environment and your music. So for conclusion, if you like to listen to music and have a heavy bass, this is a good product for you. You can easily change your stereo system and upgrade to a 2.1 channel system. And if you like to host house party, you can have multiple of these products and put subwoofer everywhere in your house and you can connect them wirelessly and turn your house into a disco. But if your neighbor come, goes complaints to you, uh, yeah.
please take care of it yourself. Don't find us. For DIY wires, we have a front plate accessory for you. With this, you can easily build your own subwoofer with it. If you want more information or purchase this product, I'll put down a link in the description and you can check it later. So that's all for, for it. Uh, thank you for watching and let me see you, and let me see you next time. If you like this channel, please press the subscribe button. And don't forget to press that little bell to receive notice when we release our new videos. Thank you.